Like any artist, Ada says she's a little anxious, revealing her art to the public for the first time. I'm excited, but slightly nervous. To create portraits like this, Ada takes a picture of her subject using the camera in her eye. An algorithm then interprets that photo and randomly translates it into coordinates, which she plots on paper. The outcome is loose and expressive, almost abstract, a result of deliberately adding flaws into what would otherwise be a very expensive printer. Her creators argue that she is innately creative, in that what she produces is new, surprising and of value. Her works have all sold, bringing in over $1.2 million. But they also want her to stimulate debate about the future of artificial intelligence and how it will change humanity. Areas of biotechnology, areas of efficiency, areas of automation, these have dramatic effects on the world. And because of the scalability of this technology, it's deeply worrying. And we, we do need to think, have a public debate about this as to where this is all going. And art is a great vehicle to be able to do that. Ada's other mode is abstract interpretation of oak trees, the sea and bees, producing fragmented pictures then painted over by humans. Here at Oxford University, professors are exploring the new frontier that is artificial intelligence. But some don't believe that robots like Ada are helping the debate. What AI and automation will look like in the future is not humanoid robots, but more like mechanical arms in warehouses or checkout tills at Tesco. And so when we have embodied robots that show women, young, attractive women, we're kind of doing a disservice to the conversation we could be having about the future that we want for humanity. Ada's work is art by algorithm, highlighting some of its limitations, but also its potential. And as we give machines more decision-making power in areas like healthcare, transport, and security, this worldview seen by algorithm could become the dominant reality. Charlie Angela Al Jazeera, Oxford.